guys, it's Pete, your totally obsessed tennis coach. And if you enjoy today's serve lesson, then make sure you stick around to the end because I have something awesome for you if you wanna step up your serve this year. Hey guys, this is Pete and welcome to this very special lesson that's gonna teach you how to eliminate, eradicate your number one bad habit that I see on the slice serve. And I call it the helicopter slice. And I'm gonna explain what that is in a minute. Before we get into this video though, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Peter Freeman. I am the owner of Crunch Time Coaching and the creator of Tennis Con. This is our third Tennis Con. Super excited to be bringing you this video. And I also applaud your dedication to the game. Now, what really got me noticed first online was my slice serve. I'm a lefty and I can really get that thing to get a lot of action and get off of the court. And so my slice serves have literally been seen hundreds and thousands of times on the internet. And when people come take a lesson from me, one of the first things they want to learn is the slice and they complain that my slice doesn't get the same action that your slice gets, Pete. It doesn't move off the court as quickly. And the number one reason why this is happening is most people I see when they explain their frustration that they can get some action on the ball. It's not that, it's not that you're not getting a slice on the ball, but it's just kind of like floating there, moving across the court very slowly. When it hits, it doesn't skid and get off the court in a hurry. It just kind of sits there like a pinata. So that is because you have what I call the helicopter slice. So the cool thing about this video is not just identifying the problem, it's also fixing the leak. When people have inefficiencies in their strokes, I call them leaks. So I'm not just showing you, hey, this is your number one problem. I'm helping you fix it step by step. And the most important part is that you follow the steps in order, you follow them systematically, and that you do it diligently. If you do this over the next 30 days, if you would really like to get a slice that has a lot of action on it, and you follow these progressions, I promise you, you're gonna see a lot of progress. So let's get in this video and let me show you what this helicopter slice actually is and looks like and some alarm bells might be going off in your head thinking that's exactly what I'm doing and why my ball doesn't move through the court the way it should. Okay, so the people with a helicopter slice, they most of the time actually have the correct grip and they're able to put some kind of movement, some kind, it is slicing, but it's just not moving the way that you want it to move. And what I noticed and why I call it a helicopter, because the racket tends to be moving this way across the ball, almost in an up and across sidearm throw. And so when you're hitting that ball, it just doesn't really have you know, much pace to it. And it just kind of floats and flies across the court. You see how that's moving? Now, I'm obviously exaggerating it. You probably have a little more pace and spin than that. Some of you may not. But what's happening to some degree is your racket is coming at the ball like this. Since you're trying to hit the side of the ball, since you're trying to get action and move across the ball, you're kind of moving this helicopter type fashion. This is why I'm calling it the helicopter at the ball. And you see how the racket is like this. We don't want the racket approaching like this. What we want to really be able to get the power on the ball is we want to be more in that traditional throwing motion where we're not throwing a sidearm pitcher, though you can hit a nice slice, kind of thinking of it as a, as a sidearm, and you see how that ball really moved. Um, but we want to get more of a full extension up to the shot and that a racket edge, it's on edge to the last possible second, then we're maneuvering around the ball. And I'm also gonna show you how, when you're hitting your slice serve, how you wanna be able to hit multiple different parts of the ball as you're hitting your slice, so you can have more than just one slice. You can have uh, a slice that gets way off the court in, in a short angle, which would be a little slower. And then you can also have a power slice, depending on where and how you're hitting this tennis ball. So we're gonna cover all of that in this video as well. So let's get right into this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from the back and from the side uh, just the difference in what 
a helicopter slice again looks like I think you guys are kind of getting the idea versus the kind of slice that you're after one that has a lot of action and movement you, but you can see really see it moving on the court and hopefully you'll be able to hit in some some aces and winning some easy points off it so again helicopter slicing like that right it's clearly got action on it but it's just kind of going too high and sitting up there as opposed to now the kind of slice you want to develop where I'm coming here it's coming right here see this I call this the sprinkler move where I'm going to my racket drop coming around and then my racket is going to be coming from this racket drop up to the ball way up here hitting up there now by doing that move I'm going to be adding a lot more power into the ball because I'm no longer coming at the ball in this manner all right so you're gonna see that these slices uh, appear to be moving a lot faster a lot more solid whoops let me try it a lot faster a lot more solid of a hit as I'm coming through and hitting this slice so that one really went right to the line and off the court let me do a couple more so especially if you're a doubles player you can stand way out here and really get that ball to move off the court. You guys seeing that? I get that ball to move off the court and you can see it has a good amount of pace but is also moving off the court there guys. And so you can see the difference again how I'm approaching the hit. Helicopter coming up here and hitting the serve a lot more solid but still getting off the court. Now I can also add more pace to that slice by hitting a little flatter which I'll show you right here as I'm getting set this is still gonna have slice but I hit a little more of a solid slice and through the court you can see it's still got some action on it that was a really good one so you still see it has movement on it uh, so I can hit all kinds of different slices with this and you notice right now I'm not even jumping so when I start to warm up and jump that slice serve gets even more action on it and it gets even bigger more power which is probably what you want but we're not going to jump yet it's not time to do that the first thing we need to do is we got to eliminate this helicopter slice as now to the really really juicy stuff fixing your helicopter slice now remember I was exaggerating way down here uh, but I, I do find a lot of people even as they're hitting the slice it's not as big a helicopter but you're still more coming at the ball like this and you're not getting that power the key is to come up like this on edge so the first thing we need to do and trust me have you ever heard that saying don't knock it until you try it well I think a lot of my lessons are, are built around that concept because I do things a little unconventional but when you watch it it really makes sense and you can see that it's gonna work if you go try it okay so don't knock it until you try this the first thing I want you to do is standing in the service box and we're not worried at all about getting the ball in remember we're just making we're worried about getting that what we want is to get that edge to be there to the last second we want to get used to that sensation so we want to exaggerate that actually be holding the racket by the throat I did this in a serve the curve clinic which I had people come out for three days all we did was work on the slice serve and this was the first thing we did and by the end even people who had never hit a slice serve before we were able to hit a great slice serve by the end of the weekend so the first thing we're doing is just coming here and trying to knock the ball off the edge now you can see I'm gonna make some I'm gonna miss some that was a nice solid hit but it doesn't matter it's it's not about hitting great serves in the middle now of course the more you do this it will improve your hand-eye coordination so that's not a bad thing but you can see I miss hitting some some are going off the frame real nice but every time what's not happening is this none of this is happening if I'm thinking hammer and nail with the edge of the racket and I just do this for a while you know if you don't have a really good slice serve and you know you have the helicopter the more you do with something besides just going oh let me just go to the next step the better it's going to get faster so don't be afraid to do a half basket or even a full basket of just coming right here notice too I'm not doing a full swing I'm literally just coming right here boom boom so it's nice and easy all right okay so the next thing we do is we just keep working that progression little by little and so the first thing I'm right here now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to just bring the racket down a little more, still keeping it out in front of me. See, so now the racket's in this position, elbow right here, again, locked and loaded, ready to throw or shoot a free throw kind of thing, right there. So now there's a little more range of motion up to the ball. So I'm gonna come from here and I'm gonna to come to the top. Again, now this, the more I add to this, the more I'm gonna miss the ball completely and that's perfectly okay. It's not about making contact, it's about trusting, bringing your edge up to the ball. See that? So you can see I missed that completely. Another one I'm missing completely. Don't be afraid to miss a lot of these. There you go, that's the first one I hit, all right? Now, as I do that, I want you to stay in that position and bring the racket down the handle. All right, so now we can really start to feel us using this racket as a lever. The further you are down the handle, the more racket head speed you're naturally gonna get by bringing that racket head up. So I'm, again, right here, now again, there's more room for the racket to travel. It takes more skill to hit the ball. I hit that one pretty solid, but that's all I'm working on doing is making sure that the edge is coming up to it, okay? Now, I do that over and over again. What you can now try is to get your racket back here, behind your head, come into that racket drop, and try and touch the ball with your edge. Very hard to do. Don't worry if you miss a lot of these, okay? So now I'm coming here, coming, and I wanna touch the ball with the edge. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire right now. So I do that, again, don't be afraid to do that for a full basket, but I know you've got so many other great lessons you wanna watch in Tennis Con that we're gonna move this along. The next thing I do, because what I see a lot of people do in their serve is they skip what I call the secret power source and they start to open up their hand here and come in here. Now this is gonna ensure that you're kind of like in a helicopter. So I want you to start in something I call the secret power source. This is where all professional athletes get set, especially like a football player, baseball pitcher, when they're getting ready to throw for power. If you watch any of my videos, you've heard me talk about this a lot. Roger Federer, Andy Roddick, two of the greatest servers of all time, they have a very, very pronounced now it's secret power source. So we'll put a, uh, a frame of that up so you can really see that. So now I'm gonna be in the secret power source with the goal of then coming back, keeping the thumbnail, this is super important, the thumbnail can't open up, keeping the thumbnail looking at me. So the whole time I'm doing this, I'm gonna have the thumbnail looking at me. I can still see it, I can still see it. It comes around here, guess what? I'm looking at my thumbnail right now and then up and hit it by the edge. So now we're coming from here. Again, I suggest you watch yourself. Look, I'm watching myself. Do this with me and up. Again, I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm here, I'm watching myself. I'm coming back. You see how that's coming out? Up, touch the ball. This is eliminating that number one slice serve killer, which is the helicopter move right now, guys. So we definitely wanna do this. So I'm here. Again, I'm gonna come back, up, try and hit off the edge. Now again, the more range of motion, the more I'm gonna have a tough time actually hitting the edge. So you can see, I'm not really hitting this solid, which is, which is fine and to be expected. So you just keep doing this. Even if you do a full basket and you'll get one solid hit on the edge. Now there it is, almost went over the fence, okay? So again, don't be afraid to do a full basket of that. All right, now that you've done that, now we're going to go into a full motion from the service line where you're trying to hit the edge. So your full service motion and see if you can do it, okay? So again, you might want to spend an entire basket on this. Coming here, coming up, trying to hit the edge of the racket. Again, you're gonna hit a lot of miss hits when you do this. And that is what we want. You see, that's actually adding, starting to add some slice to it. Okay, good. So. We've done that. Now here comes the really, really important part. Now we've got to learn because we know now if we just keep coming up on edge, we're not going to hit the ball. This is why, you know, probably 85% of recreational tennis players, they've been messed with the continental grip because this is so hard to figure out. 
So now what we want to do, instead of like coming this way, which is where the helicopter move I think comes because you know, even, sub, even if you don't know it consciously, subconsciously you know you've got to hit the string. So your body's going to start to make adjustments and that's where the weak one comes. So now what we got to do is as we come here, our thumbnails in and now just before contact, I'm going to look to push it out a little bit, which you can see now just by coming here and pushing the thumbnail out, the strings are going to start to make contact with the ball and I'm still going to be doing that and aiming for the outside of the ball. Now obviously I can't actually hit the outside of the ball. If I hit the outside of the ball, again I'm going to be framing the ball, but in my mind mentally, I'm just going to aim for the outside of the ball while pushing my thumbnail out away from me and that's going to start to give me the sensation of the slice and more of a solid slice that you're looking after. So. I'm just going to go right back to here because this is hard to figure out. I, I almost want to watch myself do it, right? So in, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right here and then the thumbnail is facing me. I'm going to throw the ball up and then I'm going to push. I'm going to come back just a little bit and then push the thumbnail out, aim for the outside of the ball. Say now all of a sudden I'm slicing the ball. See that ball slice? Okay, the more I add, come down lower on the lever and come up, you're going to see a lot more uh, racket head speed and a lot more power. But for right now, we're really starting to eliminate that helicopter move by coming here, coming around the side and I'm pushing the thumbnail out ever so slightly. The more you push it out and really push the thumbnail forward, then you're going to hit the ball flatter, right? So if now I aim right for the middle of the ball, just to show you the extreme of this, if I aim right for the middle of the ball with that thing and I push my thumbnail out at it like a hammer and nail, then the slice is going to go away and I'm going to be hitting more of a flat serve, all right? And you can also practice your pronation that way, uh, way as well. So. Anyway, back to our slice though, because that's what we're really after in this video. Now you guessed it, we're just moving down the handle and more range of motion. So now I can be in this position and again I'm looking at my thumbnail and I'm going to push that thumbnail out a little bit as I go to hit and making sure that it's right there to the last second. It's basically like in the last frame. If you can imagine yourself frame by frame, the very last frame you make that move. It's almost hard to catch on camera and you're also aiming for around the outside of the ball. See? So now all of a sudden you see guys, it's starting to have more power but it's still got slice on it. You work your way down the handle, you go in the secret power source. Now you're going to start to see some magic happen. I'm here, again I'm going to aim for the outside of that ball and pushing that thumbnail out and away. So here I come and now it's starting to turn into the slice serve that you've seen on YouTube that's gotten hundreds of thousands of views because I've gone in this progression to get rid of that helicopter move. So again, I'm here, secret power source, coming, aiming around the outside of that ball. That's a pretty good slice, that's a pretty good sound, all right? Now, what I can do from there is now I can practice going into my full motion. But for many of you, I wouldn't even go into a full motion for maybe the entire 30 days that you try this because you want to be trying this in step-by-step -step progressions. You just don't want to be going through it this fast. I'm going through it this fast because I'm instructing you and I have, this is one of the shots that, you know, I hate to say the word mastered, but it's, it's what I do best. So I can go this quickly through and show you and be able to do it successfully. Many of you will not be able to do that. So now I'm going to do more of the full motion from the ground, coming here, aiming around the outside of the ball and hitting. And if we slow that down in slow motion, you'll see that my edge is very last frame coming up and then going out and then coming around. So that's how we're doing that. Now as far as to get more pace, more spin, really play with the spins and the paces, that's what we're going to finish this lesson with now. Now that we've eliminated, we know how to eliminate the helicopter move, now we want to add variety on purpose to our slice serve, hitting some faster, some slower, some more off the court, some more into the body. That's what we're going to finish with. It's super important to develop the feel of a slice when you're going to hit different 
uh, slices that you're aiming for different parts of the ball. Again, when I'm hitting a major slice with a lot of spin, I'm aiming for the outside of the ball. Now, am I actually hitting the outside of the ball? No, I'm not, okay, I'm not. If I was actually hitting the outside of the ball, then you would see the ball do what it did earlier in this lesson when I was coming at just swing at the edge, I was barely making contact with it. But mentally, that's what I'm thinking about. So the more I want the ball to move across the court without doing this, see, I think people make the mistake and they aim around the outside of the ball like this, and then again, helicopter comes back. So it's not like that. It is coming from here down up and then really aiming around the outside of that ball. When I do that, I'm gonna get a lot of movement and get the ball off the court, okay? Now, the more I want to hit the slice harder is I'm gonna be aiming just off center. That will be like my hardest slice. If I come like center, or even on this side, and really do a big pronation move, that's gonna be flattening the ball out. Then once I start to come up and under here, then I'll be hitting more of a kick serve. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna be looking at that ball and trying to hit right there, pretty solid, give it a nice thump, and the ball will still have a hint of slice on it, so it's gonna have some movement to throw my opponent off. It'll have a hint of slice on it, but it's gonna come more off center of the ball. And then you can see that ball's moving a lot faster through the court. You see how that ball is still, it's still curving a little bit, but it's obviously a lot harder. And then the more I add my body, my legs, jump using my kinetic chain, the serve gets bigger, okay? Finally, as far as moving the serve, as far as is it gonna go out wide, is it gonna go into the body, I'm just gonna show you two. It's all about the shoulders. I like to call these the radio dial shoulders. And the more they hook around, the earlier they hook around, I'm bringing that ball off the court and short. The more I hold those shoulders to my net post and still come around the ball, then I can hit an into the body slice serve. So I'm gonna finish with those two serves for you guys. So here I am, I'm gonna go Watch how my shoulders open up slightly early. Notice my shoulders are facing to the net post right now. And then I'm thinking about opening up the shoulders now. And I got the ball very, very short and off the court. That was pretty awesome. Now this time, I'm gonna hold the, ball, the shoulders a little longer and we're gonna aim for an into the body serve. So here I go. I'm gonna come and now, now I'm opening. Oh, let me do that again. Bad toss. So now let's go for that into the body serve and you see, I'm gonna tell you the time when I'm gonna look to rotate the shoulders. I'm gonna hold them a little more. I'm not gonna let them release and sway around as much and as freely as I would if I'm going off the court. So here I come, I'm holding and now. See, now you can see that went directly in the body. And here I go and now. Okay, you totally obsessed tennis player. I promise I was gonna hook you with something awesome at the end and here it is my seven day serve challenge. It is the perfect practice template. So if you're looking to get your toss under control, I've got the 10 minute toss fix. If you're looking to add an easy 10 to 15 miles an hour to your serve with very little effort, then we've got a power day inside the seven day serve challenge. If you're looking to learn how to get that nasty slice on the serve, whether you're righty or lefty, then it's inside the seven day serve challenge. If you want a sick kick, it's inside the seven day serve challenge and you can get free access to each day for 48 hours. I've got a preview video, make sure you check it out. If it all checks out, looks awesome to you and you're excited to get your serves to the next level, then make sure to go up in the card section, which is right here or in the description box below. Sign up and I'll see you inside. It's time to develop a serve with massive power and spin without giving up your accuracy or consistency. Without having to spend hours and hours on the court every day for the rest of your life and without having to spend thousands of dollars on lessons that just don't work. My name is Peter Freeman. I'm the founder of Crunch Time Coaching. You may have seen my serve videos on YouTube where I have over 8 million views. Or maybe you've seen me interview the great Rick Macy, Gigi Fernandez, or Rod Laver with my tennis con event that features the very best coaches in the world in an effort to get your game to the next level. Or maybe you've already experienced one of my online training courses. Either way, I'm just a passionate coach who loves helping totally obsessed tennis players get unstuck and get to the next level in their tennis journey. So if you want to finally separate the truth from the lies, throw out all the junk and clutter that just holds your game back, you have come to the right place. 
After playing and coaching now for nearly 40 years, I've compiled everything you need to do to transform your serve this year into a seven day serve obsession challenge. You see, I focus solely on the totally obsessed adult tennis player. Players who want the latest cutting edge instruction proven to get results that local coaches either don't know or they refuse to teach. I have now helped 7,332 totally obsessed tennis players inside my training programs and I'm going to help you too. Introducing the 7 day serve obsession challenge, you can enroll and join hundreds of other totally obsessed tennis players just like you live over the next 7 days to finally unlock that power you didn't know you had gain control and spin you've been missing for years and turn your serve into a true weapon that dominates in match play. When you enroll for the challenge, you're going to unlock $1,068 worth of value. Your challenge includes a seven day step-by-step -step video coaching system, perfect practice plan drill sheets, live coaching and support, plus I'm throwing in a free bonus, my very best serving lessons currently only available to VIP members. So if you are sick and tired of hitting your serve like an amateur and not having the confidence to keep swinging freely regardless of scoreboard pressure, the time is now. You've tried the private lessons that cost tons of money with lackluster results or you've signed up for dozens of online coaching programs that didn't work and you're ready to stop the vicious cycle of disappointment and finally learn a simple, doable method that works for myself and for my students. The time is now. Enter your information and enroll now. It's an insane $1,068 value. If this is finally where your serve transformation begins, wouldn't it be worth it?